Hey everybody, I uh, got me an Umarex T4E TR50 and I ordered a Rockstar Tactical 11 joule replacement valve. This is actually the original 7.5 joule that was in here. Uh, I replaced it and if you take this piece off back here, see if I can get some good focus. Maybe not. So this one on the 11 joule valve, there's a piece inside of here that you can take off that will increase the power to 20 joules. I went ahead and did that. Um, not going to do an instructional video on how to do that. Your best bet is to go to Big J's Outdoors and Air Guns. He's a buddy of mine. He has an amazing video on how to do that. Um, but I made a slug maker. This is a half inch piece of aluminum bar. Uh, these aren't particularly clean, but so I used a drill bit. I tried a spade bit. I tried a Forstner bit. And then I used um, also a countersink to try and clean it up on the inside a little bit. They're a little rough around the edges, but you're going to end up cutting some of this stuff off anyway. So you have to use a half inch. Half inch is perfect. What I do is I oil this up, I put it in the fridge or the freezer for a little bit, and then I use these, uh, what are they? Uh, quarter, quarter inch slingshot ammo, ball bearings, daisy things here. And so you put a little bit of hot glue in here after you oil it, and then you drop your ball bearing in there and then you fill it with glue and these things. Um, I did drill a hole all the way through so that way you can turn it around and push through there with like a pencil or something. They slide right out. They are pretty darn cool. Um, additionally, let's see here. Made a couple with 22 caliber pellets inside of there. Um, so I started with three, uh, three holes in this thing, one here, here, and here, and then I decided, you know, to get as many holes as the, in there as I could, so I ended up with seven. So now, when you get these things out, my, my process is I'll pull these out, and then I will start another, another row. While these are cooling, I'll show you how to do this here. You just pop this thing out. Oh. Uh, harder to do with one hand. So that thing pops right out of there. And if you use the flat side, not the, not the curved side with all the recesses, but if you put these in here, and forgive me, I'm not left-handed. Um, you put these in here. And you can use a long razor blade. And you can just trim off the top so they fit perfectly into your cylinder. And then, again, sorry, not left-handed. Also, not very good with one-handed thing. Regardless, they pop out of there. And then you get you a whole bunch of these things. And I haven't shot one yet, but I am really looking forward to at 20 joules. So uh, these are the obviously the rubber balls that uh, you can get for this. They fit right in there. Again, half inch is the magic number. Um, but yeah. That's what we got going on. Thanks for watching.